Okay, it is week three in isolation. We're all going crazy. Most of us have killed the people we've lived with already and we don't know what day of the week it is. So I've got some more guides for you. I've got two things for you today. Firstly, thank you to all the people that contacted us on Saturday and that watched the AceCAF video that I put together. I really appreciate that. This week, we're gonna try something new. We're gonna try a completely interactive live piece on Facebook, so I will share more info throughout the week with you. I've also got a great how-to guide for you today. So it involves this and this. Let's get stuck into it. So this, is an ECU temperature sender. And what it does is it checks the ambient temperature of the car and then it changes the fuel mix so that the car will run properly. It's especially valuable when cold. If your car starts and it splutters and pops and bangs and then once it does go, it stinks of fuel, it's normally one of these starting to fail. We recommend changing them when you're changing the uh, cold idle valve that's the point when we change them and seeing as we've made a guide on changing cold idle valves i thought i would do one on these to follow so what i'm going to do we're going to have a look on the engine i'm going to point it out but it's really tricky and really hard to see so i'm going to point it out on the engine and then we'll use an engine on the bench and i'll show you how to change it so let's have a look in the engine bay now the sender is buried right in the depths of the engine. The first thing I'm gonna do, I've loosened off already, you can see this, which is the air resonator pipe, go into the air box. And then if you look carefully, right down in the depths of the engine, right in the center of the shot there, you should hopefully, where my finger is, be able to see a small yellow plug. Now that yellow plug is the plug that goes on to the temperature sensor. Now the first thing we need to do is get the plug off the end of the sensor. Now that plug looks like this. It's the same plug that's used on the cold idle valve. Now you can see like we did with the cold idle valve, it's held together with a little metal pin. And I'm showing you this on here because it's a lot easier than trying to do it while it's plugged in on the back of the engine so basically you need to get this little metal plug out the way ideally without dropping it down the back of the engine or breaking the plug and you can see it just pulls off like this from the top best way to do it is grab it with a pin nose set of pliers and then this will just release from the back of the temperature sensor now let's jump on the engine and have a look on there and see how you actually get this sensor out the back of the inlet manifold. Okay, so the last part of the process is to remove the temperature sender from the block and put a new one in. You need one of these, a 19 mil spanner, and you just crack it off at the block here. Obviously, this is normally where the bulkhead is. So at this point, you've got your hand buried down the back of the engine. That was where the pipe was that I took off when we were looking in from this angle earlier. This unscrews out of the block here. You'll lose maybe a tiny bit of water when you do it, but don't worry about it and you don't need to drain the system. My two biggest tips for you, if your temperature sender is blue, it's probably an original one and it is likely to be rubbish and worn out anyway because they don't make them in that color anymore. And the other thing is you're very close to one of the injectors here. So when you remove the plug, make sure you are removing the yellow plug because that is the temperature sensor and not the one above it which is the injector. That's it, your car will run better when you've changed it. Give us a shout if you need any advice or if you want us to do the job for you. See you soon guys, bye.